Hey guys, it's Miss Teresa. I um, am sitting outside on my porch swing right now, and it is another beautiful day outside. Um, I just washed my porch furniture the other day because it's white, and it is yellow from all the pollen that's in the air right now. And I went out to get in my car a while ago, and uh, my sister's birthday is today. And so I had gone over to her house and just dropped something off at her door for her for her birthday. Um, but anyway, when I went to get my car, my car is white and the outside of my car was completely yellow and I had just washed it the other day. So if you guys go outside, that's something else you see in the springtime is pollen, yellow pollen that just covers everything. Hopefully it'll rain soon and kind of wash some of that away. All right, I'm gonna read you guys a story today. It's called, What Do You Do With a Tail Like This? And again, this is one of my favorite books. Animals use their noses, ears, tails, eyes, mouths, and feet in very different ways. See if you can guess which animal each part belongs to and how it is used. At the back of the book, you can find out more about these animals. What do you do with a nose like this? So look at all of these different noses that are on these two pages. And then we're gonna turn the page and see what animal these noses belong to. Okay, this nose here, it belonged to a platypus. If you're a platypus, you use your nose to dig in the mud. If you're a hyena, you find your next meal with your nose. If you're an elephant, you can use your nose to give yourself a bath. If you're a mole, you can use your nose to find your way underground. If you're an alligator, you can breathe through your nose while hiding in the water. What do you do with ears like these? So again, look at all of these different ears on these different animals. And see if you can guess what they belong to. If you're a jackrabbit, you can use your ears to help you stay cool. If you're a bat, listen to this one. If you're a bat, you can see with your ears. If you're a cricket, this is another crazy one. You can hear with ears that are on your knees. What if your ears were on your knees? Isn't that crazy? If you were a hippopotamus, you could close your ears when you were under the water. If you're a humpback whale, you hear sounds that are hundreds of miles away with your ears. All right, these are different tails that belong to different animals. So look at all of these different tails and see if you can figure out what animal these tails go with. If you're a giraffe, you can brush off pesky flies with your tail. If you're a skunk, shoo-wee, you can lift your tail to warn that a stinky smell is on the way. If you're a lizard, you can break off your tail to get away from danger. If you're a scorpion, your tail can give a nasty sting. And if you're a monkey, you can hang from a tree by your tail. What if you, what if you had a tail like a monkey and you, you could hang by your tail on our monkey bars at school? Wouldn't that be fun? What do you do with eyes like these? Look at all these different eyes that belong to these animals and see if you can figure out which animals these would be. If you're an eagle, you spot tiny animals from high up in the air. If you're a chameleon, you can look two ways at once. If you're a four-eyed fish, you can look above the water and you can look below the water at the same time. If you're a bush baby, 
You can use your large eyes to see very clearly at night. Ooh, and this one's kind of gross to me. If you're a horned lizard, you can squirt blood out of your eyes. Ooh. What do you do with feet like these? Look at all these different feet on these animals. Can you figure out what animals those might belong to? If you're a chimpanzee, you can feed yourself with your feet. If you're a blue-footed booby, you can do a dance with your feet. If you're a water strider, you can walk on water with your feet. If you're a gecko, you can use your sticky feet to walk up on the ceiling. What if your feet were sticky and you could flip upside down and walk on your ceiling? That'd be pretty cool, huh? If you're a mountain goat, you can leap from ledge to ledge with your feet. What do you do with a mouth like this? Look at all of these different mouths on these animals. If you're a pelican, you can use your mouth as a net to scoop up fish. If you're an egg-eating snake, you can use your mouth to swallow an egg that's larger than your head. My goodness, look at that. He can get his mouth open so wide. If you're a mosquito, you can use your mouth to suck blood. If you're an ant eater, you capture termites with your long, sticky tongue. And if you're an archer fish, you catch insects by shooting them down with a stream of water. Did you guys like that book? That's pretty neat, isn't it? Anyway, I love you guys, and I hope you all have a good day. See you later. Bye.